end-to-end -end encryption ensures only you and the person you're communicating with can read or listen to what is sent, and nobody in between, not even WhatsApp. End-to-end -end encryption is regarded as safer because it reduces the number of parties who might be able to interfere or break the encryption. In the case of instant messaging, users may use a third-party client or plugin to implement an end-to-end -end encryption scheme over an otherwise non-E2EE protocol. In an end-to-end -end encrypted system, the only people who can access the data are the sender and the intended recipients and no one else. Neither hackers nor unwanted third parties can access the encrypted data on the server. In true end-to-end -end encryption, encryption occurs at the device level. <music> encrypted data can be hacked or decrypted with enough time and computing resources, revealing the original content. Hackers prefer to steal encryption keys or intercept data before encryption or after decryption. <music> encryption converts data into ciphertext preventing hackers from accessing it in most cases. Encryption only protects whatever is encrypted, such as your internet connection, email, or files, but it does nothing to protect you from other online threats. <music> WhatsApp chats are protected by end-to-end -end encryption, but hackers have found a loophole. WhatsApp may be the most popular messaging service in the world, offering end-to-end -end encryption for chats, which is considered secure. However, its biggest weakness has been exposed and hackers can target users from there. <music> Consider its role. Encryption helps keep you safe while doing things like browsing the web, shopping online, and reading email on your computer or mobile device. It's critical to computer security, helps to protect data and systems, and helps to protect you against identity theft. <music> Encryption is the process of taking plain text, like a text message or email, and scrambling it into an unreadable format, called, ciphertext. This helps protect the confidentiality of digital data either stored on computer systems or transmitted through a network like the Internet. End-to-end <music> -end encryption promotes data protection and prevents unauthorized access to personal data. On the positive side, with E2E encryption, all data is encrypted and protected. The biggest advantage of end-to-end -end encryption is that unauthorized persons cannot access personal data. The security that end-to-end -end privacy offers might be limited if a third party gets physical access to the device at either end of the transmission. Not only can they read existing messages, but also send new ones. The disadvantages of encrypted files. Forgetting passwords. Encryption requires a password to encrypt and decrypt the file. Raising suspicions. If you use encryption to protect your information on your computer at work or at home, it could raise suspicions. <laughs>